Hey guys and welcome back to Terraria, the new 1.3.4 update. Today is basically going to be a guide on how to complete the new event easily without like any trouble. So first we're going to start with what equipment you need. Now for this I used the last prism with the murderous uh, modifier. If you want to do it easily, like the easiest it can be, the last prism is by far the best weapon. It is such a good crowd killer. It's fantastic. Now, as you can see here, you know, all you have to do is hold down for a little bit, go back to side. You also want the nebula armor, and I, in this case, used the uh, the offensive armor, the one which gives you the little different buffs, and uh, I think it's attack, health, and magic regeneration. And that, the nebula armor complements that great. Now, I did have buffs. As you can see at the moment, I don't actually put any of them on, because I kind of forgot to. But it also shows that you don't need to. Uh, I think like halfway through the fight I did just a kind of proof of concept thing. Um, apart from that, accessories, I'd say wings quite important for dodging, especially later on with Betsy. And you'll see that soon if you don't know who Betsy is. Apart from that, um, magic related things, celestial cuffs are good. And also the... I can't remember what it's called, Jesus. The flower, the flower bottle thing, <laughs> which uh, which allows you, which like automatically drinks potions for you, mana potions whenever you run out. That's also really good, especially for the last prism. The mana flower, the mana flower in a jar, something like that. That's uh, really good. And apart from that, just general accessories, like you know, running shoes. I'd recommend as well, some kind of like lightning boots. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's it's whatever you want really. Now, as you can see here, this is wave 2 currently. You just go from left to right, you can even stand at the crystal if you want. Just hold it down for a little bit. I would I would say really, you actually have to let it go to its full final form, the last prism light, it's, its beam form. Because even those few beams at the start there, they just shred through enemies easily. And as you can see, it leaves a lot of buffs, so definitely do go left and right occasionally to pick up the buffs. Um, now, it's... It's quite simple um, to do it this method with the last prison. It's a really, really good weapon, and it's fantastic. As you can see, I just applied the buffs there. And I do place down some of the turrets, the the lightning shield turrets, but it doesn't really like that matter that much, especially considering it's only level one. But you know, you can use the the later ones if you feel like it. Now, apart from that, I think uh, I've also got the ang shields, as you saw there. That's my last accessory, and to be honest, the Angshield is like a, a go-to accessory for me. All of them are reforged and menacing as well, just for that extra damage, because, you know, it's, it's really good. Now, if you don't actually want the crystal to get damaged, I'd say pay more attention to these flying enemies when they start spawning, the lightning bugs in the previous wave, and also these uh, wavens. These can prove a problem. Javelin throws as well, if you let them get close enough, they can actually attack the crystal from quite far. I successfully managed to make no damage we took to the crystal until the very final wave, which I honestly think it's probably impossible with Betsy, because like, the first attack Betsy does is charge, and you'll see that in a few minutes. The, uh, the the purple dragons, they're fine. They also have a range attack, just don't let them get close. And they do have a few thousand health, but again, with the last prism, it's literally no big deal. Like it absolutely shreds through them. As you can see, I'm just making sure I keep on going left and right, making sure no enemies survive, and also that I'm picking up the buffs. Because you'd be surprised how much of a difference the buffs for the Nebula Armor make, though, are actually look fantastic. Going on to wave 4 now is where the Flying Kobolds are introduced. Or the Kobold Gliders, sorry. And now these can be a little bit of a problem, you know, they can catch you off guard, they're quite fast and you can't really see them sometimes. But again, the Last Prism, it rips through them just such a good weapon, the, probably the best weapon in the game, I'm surprised I haven't buffed it. Like, I know it's rough, uh, no, sorry, I know it's rough from the Moon Lord, but it's like, it's so overpowered. As you can see there, the Draken has 3000 HP. And this method is also, it's also uh, usable in expert mode, completely 100%. Like, there's no reason why it wouldn't be. Um, you may take some damage to the crystal, but honestly, if you if you play cards right, if you just stay at the crystal like I am now, it's it's really easy to like take no damage or very minimal damage. 
Also, just be careful of your mana. That's why I recommend like the mana flower in the mana flower in the jar thing. So I don't know its name. Uh, because that just takes potions away automatically when you run out, and that's really good. On terms of health and defense, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. With potions, I'd recommend a uh, the, the life force potion, the ones with just via extra health, like 600 if you've already got max health, because that's just generally like a really good potion. Endurance potions, like general buffs, swiftness, it's just general potions, but honestly, they're really not necessary. I, I could have done this without it. But the necessities are the last prism and the spectre armor. If you don't have the last prism or the spectre armor because you haven't defeated the moon lord and you don't want to for some reason or you can't, then uh, I'd look up a guide on how to kill the moon lord because the last prism is great and you need it. But spectre armor and a razor blade typhoon are okay. They're pretty manageable. You might get a little bit overwhelmed and you'll need a lot more mana potions because you won't have that that regen and the, the mana regen buff from the spectre armor. So you you might have a bit of a difficulty, but it should be fine. As you can see, the ogre there went down super quickly. You actually do need to let the beam get to its maximum there for the ogres because they've got quite a lot of health. But as, as you see, it's just continue ripping through the waves so easily. There's another ogre over here. Try and avoid the ogre's spitball attack because it gives a debuff to the player which slows him down incredibly and it is an insane debuff. The player is so slow whenever they touch the ground they can still fly at normal speed but uh, it's just it's stupid going along the ground how slow the player is so avoid the ogres at all cost. So come up to wave 6 now. We've got nearly all the enemies available. I just looked showed off this staff here, uh, Tome of Infinite Wisdom. One thing I do have to say is a massive um, thank you and also well done to the Terraria team. They have done a fantastic job with this update. There's so much new content, all based on New Defenders 2. It's actually a really interesting update, and uh, I think it's really good. It's now wave 6, the penultimate wave. Again, it's pretty similar to wave 5. I think there's a few more ogres. As you can see here, I get hit by the spitball. The spitball has a massive area as well, so I definitely recommend flying up quite high because it's also got a good height to it, the hitbox. Now, wave 7, if you don't know, is when Betsy comes, the final boss. She is a dragon, and she's... she's as far as bosses go, I, I guess you would call her a boss, but as far as bosses go, which is really not that hard. As you can see, that ogre took a swing at me there. Betsy is just fast. She's definitely fast. And she does quite a lot of damage. But she's pretty easy to dodge if you've got wings. And to be honest, at this stage in the game, you should have wings and all the necessary equipment needed to kill her. Now, I definitely recommend for Betsy, like some kind of speed potion. I think swiftness plays in quite well. Swiftness with the wings, because she is quite fast. I would probably say Duke Fishron level. Also, you will need to make the beam, the uh, last prism beam, go to full potential and try and chase her around with it. Because the last prism's got quite a slow turning rate, so you might have to let go and then restart on the other side, depends on her position. But you should be able to play off well, and uh, it's an easy fight. You get a lot of medals for it. And Betsy, killing Betsy actually kills, uh, kills the wave. Stops the wave instantly, stops wave 7 instantly, and ends the whole event. As you can see, I, uh, I'm just placing down extra lightning poles. It's, it's a decorative thing. So here we go, here's Betsy. Uh, she's, she's pretty good. I, I would definitely say probably Duke Fish will speed a little bit slower. But as you can see, it goes down without a problem quickly as well. Now I'll just follow her. And I also got the Betsy's Wrath, which is a pretty good staff. I don't know. It's all right. I'm more uh, excited about the sword. There you go. I've got 60 defender medals, and then that's it. That's over. You can see here, quite cool stuff. Quite high damage. Also got a mask and egg. Uh, the, the stuff you saw earlier. So yeah, there's a lot of new items. You can go spend those medals at the the uh, the, the innkeeper. It's a great update. That's how you uh, you beat the. How you beat the new event, 
If you've got any questions or you're having any problems, then please leave a comment. I'll answer as soon as I can. I'll try and give more tips if you need them. Thank you very much for watching this video. There will be more to come about this event still. And although Chippy Gaming proved that there can't be AFK farms, there's still a few ideas which he, he missed out, which I have in mind. So those should be coming up soon. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.